The question says, find the product of x and y if 16 over 9, x, 1, y are in geometric progression, okay? That is GP. So solution to this. So when you look at this, the question, okay, the end term is in form of a geometric progression. So how do we solve this? So the formula we use to do this, Arithmetic progression, geometric progression is given as so any time of geometric progression you can say a times r is about a minus 1, where a is the first term and r is a constant ratio. So how do we apply this to this to resolve x and y? So when you look at this, the first term is 16 over 9, okay? But the constant ratio is gotten by dividing the second term by the first term. Let's say the second term is T2 by T1. Okay. And to get this, we say T3 divided by T2 and so on and so forth. This is how we arrive to our constant ratio. So, which means to determine how, I will say X divided by 16 over 9, which is the same. 1 over x, I must get the same answer, and we should have saying y over 1, okay? So let us work with this. Let's pair the first one and the second one together to determine the value of x. So how do we do that? So since we have equals to equals multiply, so we have x times x equals, this we multiply this, we have 16 over 9. So for x times x is x squared equals 16 over 9, and to take this out, we have to take the square root of both sides and introduce plus and minus. Okay, so this is out, so we have just x. So square root of 9, 16 is 4, square root of 9 is 3, so we have plus or minus. So the value of s can either be 4 over 3 or minus 4 over 3 for x. So to determine y, this way we have y. We can pair these two together to determine y. So here we have 1 over, we have a 1 over x equals y over 1, okay? So for 1 over x equals 1 over 1, we have 1 over x, which is 1 over the value of x, when x, let's take out that 1 after the other, when x equals 4 over 3, Okay, which is the first one. So what's the value of y when x equals 4 over 3? So to determine the value of y when x equals 4 over 3, we substitute this back to where we have x. So we have equals 1 over 4 over 3, okay, equals y over 1. So we can cross multiply. This will multiply this. We have this times this is 4 over 3 y equals 1 times 1 is 1. So I write it as 4y equals 3 times 1 is 3, okay? So my y equals 3 over 4, when you divide both sides by the coefficient of y. This is when x is 4 over 3. But when x, when x equals minus 4 over 3, so what is y when x equals minus 4 over 3? So coming back to this, we see how 1 over x equals y over 1. For 1 over x, we have as 1 over x is minus 4 over 3. Okay, equals, we have to determine y when x is minus 4 over 3. So when we do our cross multiplication, we have minus 4 over 3y. This will multiply this equals 1 times y is y. Okay, so here we have this to be minus 4 times y is minus 4y over 3 equals 1. Okay, so the value of y, which is minus 4y equals 3 times 1 is 3, divide both sides by minus 4, minus 4, we have y to be minus 3 over 4. Okay, so now says we should find the product of x and y. So when x is 4 over 3, okay, so we got y to be 3 over 4. So in this case, the product of x and y in this case will be for x to be 4 over 3 times so the value of y is 3 over 4 so when we simplify this we have here this is 1 this is 1 so we have this to be 1 and in the second case when x 
when x is when x is minus 4 over 3, so the product of x and y for x is minus 4 over 3 times my y is minus 3 over 4. So when I simplify this, I have minus 1 times minus 1, that is positive 1. So I have 1 in both cases as a product. Thank you very much.